Almighty Father, we are here this morning to hear your words. We really appreciate your goodness in the life of everybody, most especially our children, the youth, and the evangelical group that are sharing testimony today and are praising you with songs and many varieties of program. Father, we worship you. Lord, accept our thanks and praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Now it is time to hear your word. I pray individually, Lord, speak to us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. The way we understand the word, speak to us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. And this word I pray. We not go in vain in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. And this word we are hearing now will not condemn us on the last day in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you because of us, I pray. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. We are in the program. We are children and evangelical groups are sharing their testimony. Am one in no bad day, it's a way away at a way bear. I didn't relate one thing for Jerry Hosea learn to appreciate what God has done in their lives. They are singing. They are praising the Lord. Let it be more than one. Until the Lord is in our ear, one, one calling, one feel good for Lord. I pray, and I'm very sure next year that Lord will do more than that in your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Mo badura. O si da mi lo juda da peni odun timbo wa. O Lord wo she unla ribi ribi eto juti e ilo ni no aye ni ni oruko Jesus. Amen. And your testimonies next year will be so sad, so great, so glorious in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic I want to speak on is the greatest and enduring testimony. Oh no, ni tito bi eri e iti odro titi lai lai. The greatest and enduring testimony. Eri e iti o gaju e iti o si duro titi lai. In First Timothy. Nino we Timothy kene. Chapter one. Ori kene. As we have read. Cheke bi atika. But we are looking at. Verses 12 to 15. Since money since a year, we say that the last thing we do go. First Timothy chapter one, verses 12 to 15. Timothy, can he? Ori, can he? We say that the last thing we say we do go. And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has enabled me for that He counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Mo du pa la wa Christi Jesus oluwa wa. And it all for many agbara, netoritia, kamesi, olo, toni, yinyo, mesi, shere. Who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. Be moti leje, asho rodi le, kori, ati oni nuni bini. Ati ele wwe ne yon. Shukban, mori a anung ba. Ne tori ti mo she ni a emon ne no a i bagbo. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. Ore o fe olu a wase kore koja. Kwe lu i bagbo. Ati i fe ti mbe ne no Christi Jesu. Verse 15. Ese ke edogon. This is a faithful saying. And worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Oh, Tito ni oro no, o si ye fun ite wogba, be, Christi Jesu wa si a ye la tigba ele shela, ni no anwe ni te mi ye pataki. This 
was the testimony of Apostle Paul. And I believe every one of us has testimony of our salvation. And we shall not lose that testimony of our salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. The greatest and enduring testimony. God delight in the testimonies of his children. Anytime children of God a cherry testimony of the work of God in their lives. God is very happy. He always appreciates when his children know that he has done something for them. Last Sunday, I told you that every day we obtain miracles. And with these miracles, we are supposed to be sharing testimony all the time. I could see that even those who didn't belong to the youth, children, or evangelical group, they share testimony because they could not do without telling us what God has done in their lives. When children of God are sharing testimony of what God does in their lives, it glorifies God. It makes us to give glory to God. And it builds the faith of other Christians. It makes other Christians to know that if God can do this in these people's life, He can do my own too. And I can tell you, fellow Christians, even if you don't share testimony this morning, very soon, like you are coming to share testimony in Jesus' name. For you to be in this service this morning, where God is in control, as you are sitting before him now, is doing something in your life. Can you say amen to that? Amen. I said, he is doing something in your life. And you are coming here to share testimony with us in Jesus' name. The greatest and enduring testimony. What is that testimony? That is the greatest and enduring. That is the salvation of man. The salvation of your soul. It is the greatest and enduring testimony any man can share. Because at death, when we die, we are living any other testimony in this world. God has given you wife, loving wife, caring husband, beautiful house, beautiful cars, good jobs, everything and everything. They are here in this world we met them here and we are leaving them here. But the salvation of our soul take us to heaven. Only the salvation of our soul will survive and 
we are going to go to heaven through that salvation of our soul. E gba lo kan wa nikan soso ona ni yo ye pelu wa ti o si ta o si de orun pelu re. I told you last week. Mo so fun yin ni ose to koja. The miracle of salvation cannot be counterfeited. Ah e e ya no igbala okan ki se yi ti a le se aye deru re. It cannot be fake. O nse yi ti o ti a le se aye da re. If somebody is not genuinely Say, you know, and Tony Bala, he will soon manifest his true character as a big Christian or not Christian at all. Like, eh, so I get my Lord or Rara, your horn in my year. Jesus says, Yes, so we pay by their fruit. Make by so on, we shall know them. How few more? I pray, but our salvation. Will be genuine in Jesus' name. Oh, you know what name? But now, can see why you genuine? Oh, look at Jesus and me. The greatest story that any man can see is salvation of his soul. It on it ya no it yo God you learn it here. It here ni yon le so oh no ni ti but now can re. In our in two fifty. No, it will only why only in two fifty. Only but only a daughter. You can put. Your own if it's in your hand. Ah, I lay moon to your one, your one. Now, in two fifty, only by only la daughter. The first stanza. Ah, a cockore. Oh, happy day that fixed my choice on thee, my savior and my God. Where may this glowing heart rejoice and dead it raptures all abroad. Now, the chorus. Happy day, happy day when Jesus washed my sins away. He taught me how to watch and pray and live rejoicing every day. Happy day, happy day when Jesus washed my sins away. <speaking in Spanish> Ojo nla lojo na ti Jesu we ese mi nu o ko mi kin ma gbadura kin ma sora kin si ma yo ojo nla lojo na ti Jesu we ese mi nu if your service is genuine o ba je boju lowo ni igba la ti e you must have joy o gbodo ma yo you must have, you must have assurance o gbodo ni da ni loju i be telling the story everywhere you go as e ma so itan na ni bi ki bi to ba nlo even your life we tell the story. Everywhere Apostle Paul went, he would tell them his encounter with Jesus Christ. The last stanzas. That's stanzas four. I even that had the solemn vow that that vow renewed sir daily here. In life's latest hour, I bow and bless in death a bond so dear. You must have that vow that without Jesus, my life is empty. You must have assurance. Of your benefit as Christians, if you can endure to the end. Oh, God, I need that in Lord John one for me. Ready no Jesus Christ, see you over for it to do me. I be telling that story everywhere you go. Oh, see the man saw it on our calendar. Jack, I do be to ban law. I pray every one of us will be telling the story of our salvation for others to be saved in Jesus name the greatest and enduring testimony that is testimony of salvation of your soul i want to give you seven facts about testimony of salvation seven, seven facts about 
testimony of salvation. Note these seven facts and align them with your salvation. Number one, salvation is obtained through a definite encounter with Jesus Christ. It is obtained through a definite encounter with Jesus Christ. Many people, many church goers, because they have not had definite encounter with Jesus Christ. That is why they will go back to the world. They are not ready for the world. I have seen. I have observed. That those who do not have definite encounter with Jesus Christ. They are always nominal Christians. I pray every one of us we have definite encounter with Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Think of Simon Peter. Simon Peter. Simon Peter. Simon Peter. At the lake of Genesaret. You know the story. In Luke chapter 5. From verse 1 to 8. Luke 5, 1 to 8. He has toyed all through the night. As an experienced fisherman, he didn't catch any fish. He loaned his ship unto Jesus to preach to the multitude. At the end of the preaching, Jesus had sympathy for him. He didn't want to go frustrated. He told him. He pointed to the ocean. Launched to this point. Peter said. Master. I'm experienced in this business. He is already there. It's already daylight. We cannot catch anything. Besides. There is nothing that can happen now. But according to your word. According to your word. I will launch. And when he launched into the deep. Bible says. He caught great catches of fish. His boat. Fill up. He beckoned unto partners of the ocean. They are both fill up. Oh, ton shall was here and one. He thought I do you bad enough. Oh, ton for Ben, you're cutting one out. Don't come. From that day, he was following Jesus Christ. He knew he's an extraordinary man. He's a man to be followed. What about the apostle? Until the on the way to Damascus. He saw a great light. He was going to Damascus. To kill. To arrest Christians. That was what he said. Where I read that I did it in ignorance. He thought he was working for God. Without knowing he was working against God. On the way to Damascus. He saw a great light. He fell down. And when he saw that light, he had the force of Jesus Christ. He knew that Jesus was speaking. And he asked that Lord with him. From that day, his life 
was never the same. He followed Jesus Christ from that day till he died. You can get that in Acts chapter 9. Verses 1 to 6. Acts 9, 1 to 6. If you have not had a encounter with Jesus Christ, I pray, my Jesus will appear to you where you cannot judge him. And if you make you understand that he is your Lord, and you will give your life unto him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, salvation of soul is obtained through a definite encounter with Jesus Christ. Fact number two. Salvation of soul begins with the total surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. It begins with the total, not 99%, total surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Then you be singing the song. I Surrender all. I surrender all. Unto you, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. You will surrender your life, your family, your business, your children, everything you have. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There is no one that we have definite encounter with Jesus Christ that he will not surrender all. I knew when I had. This definite encounter with Jesus Christ. That was 1987. I think July 24. July 24. I had definite encounter with him. In a trance. We discussed. And sorrow. From that day. My life. Never I made to say. And that is why I determined to serve him to the end. Peter the Apostle. Simon Peter. Simon Peter. When he had a cat with Jesus Christ. At that lake of Genesaret. What did he say? In Luke chapter 5. Verse 8. Luke 5 8. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Jesus told him, Jesus often, follow me. Tell me. I will make you a freezer of men. The Bible says, he left everything. For all the fish he has caught. Everything. His partners. He left there. He followed Jesus Christ. It's when you have not had a contact with Jesus, you say, I cannot leave anything. What of Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 9? Verse 6. Act 96. And, and he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what? 
without having to do. Now, when he told him that, he surrendered his life unto him. What he wanted to go and do in uh, Damascus, he couldn't do it again. Instead of that, he was preaching to the sinners. And he, Philippians chapter 3. He said, I had counted everything but God. He has had a counter with Jesus Christ. He is submitted to his lordship. And he followed him to the end of his life. Today he is resting in paradise. Genuine salvation will make you to remain in Christ to follow him without thinking of going to the world back till you die and you go to paradise. And I pray all of us we shall remain in Christ to the end in Jesus' name. Fact number three. Salvation is registered in heaven by confessing Jesus Christ as the Lord and the Son of God. Salvation of your soul. When you give your life to Christ, it is registered in heaven by confessing Jesus Christ as your Lord and you believe that he is the son of God. The day you are saved through this encounter with Jesus Christ, you are born into the family of God. And your name is registered in the book of life. You add one of the quotations of the evangelical group that if anyone names is not registered or found in the book of life, it shall be thrown into the lake of fire. And your name there. Please take on that. Or maybe your name was once there. But as it has been wiped off. Take on that. Romans chapter 10. Romans Verse 13. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, have you called upon his name? And have you believed that Jesus is the Lord over your life? First John chapter 5. Verse 5. First John 5, 5. Who is he? That overcome the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. There is no way you can give your life unto Christ without accepting that. He is the Son of God. And when you do that, you become an overcomer. You had overcome the world. You are very sure that when you live here, you are going fast to paradise. I pray we shall get there at last in Jesus' name. Fact number four. About salvation of your soul. Salvation of man's soul causes joy in heaven 
and on earth. Egbalaokan, ama fa yoni oron atini aye. Salvation of man so causes joy both in heaven and on earth. Egbalaokan niyo, ama mwa yoba wanti ti oron atiti aye. Have you ever imagined? Nge te ti woye. When a woman travels, as gave back to a baby, even though he was still having pain, the pain of birth, when she will hear the voice, the cry of her baby, she will have joy. She will smile. The effect of that baby just diminish. Even when they record the husband, your, your wife, I be put to bed. If you jump up and say, Praise the Lord. So as it is in the physical realm, so it is in the spiritual realm. Anytime a soul is given back to the kingdom of God, there is joy both on earth and in heaven. In Luke chapter 15, Fast 10. Luke 15, 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. The day you repented, there was great joy in heaven. Ah, I But it's a pity. It's a pity that many Christians the joy they cause in heaven when they give their life unto Christ, when they backslide, they cause greater sorrow in heaven. At times, when a woman gives birth to a baby, she has labored many years, maybe 10 years, and the baby dies. Ah, the pain will be too much. She will remember and have the feeling of that pain she had the day she gave back to the baby. And she will say, I could not have suffered all these things. That was how you are. If you go back to the world, so back by the way, if you be weeping as a man that loses his a, a, a child will be weeping. Since it's not easily consoled. Ah, so be shedding tears. Have you shed tears in heaven since you cause joy? Take on that. In Acts chapter 8. Verse 8. Acts chapter 8, verse 8. And there was great joy in that city. That is the city of Samaria. Where Philip went there. And many souls were saved. He went there, he saved many souls. Bible says there was great joy in that city. I pray the joy of salvation we have at our conversion will not be corrupted in Jesus' name. Fact number five. Salvation of soul is sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit and faith in the word of God. 
ati emi mi mo pelu igbagbo ninu oro olorun salvation of soul that is your salvation is sustained by the power of the holy spirit and faith in the word of god igba la okan eyi ni igba la okan re a ma duro pelu iran lowo agbara emi mi mo ati igbagbo ninu oro olorun any christian Christian, okay, Christian. Even with genuine salvation, even with death and character with Jesus Christ, if he's not having the Holy Spirit and the Word inside him, we soon go back to the world. He cannot make heaven at all. So your salvation. Is being sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit and faith in the Word of God. In Romans chapter 8, verse 13. Romans 8 13. For if he live after the flesh, he shall die. But if he true, the spirit of do mortify the deed of the body is a leave. When you have the Holy Spirit, you can mortify, you can destroy, you can subdue the work of flesh in your life. Mm -hmm. Then you are having eternal life. Mm -hmm. You can't do it by your own power. But by the power of Holy Spirit. In First Peter chapter two. First Peter chapter two. Verse two. First Peter two two. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that he may grow thereby. Be on my watch it on. When a child does not receive the milk of his mother, and he doesn't take even liquid that give it to him, he will so die. But the It is true the sincere milk of his mother that he can grow. The same thing we must have sincere, uncontaminated, undiluted meat of the word of God. That will help us to grow steadily or we come to the full stature of Jesus Christ. It is through this word of God you will say no to every enticement of the world. It is through this word of God and faith in need you will withstand all the persecutions afflictions and storm of life. It's true faith in the word of God. You can carry your cross joyfully to the end of your life when you hand over the cross or to Jesus and obtain crown. I pray the power of the Holy Spirit and faith in the word of God. God will program with our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Fact number six. Coco Kefa. Salvation of man is confirmed by the fruit of the Holy Spirit that Christians bear. Salvation of soul. Your salvation is confirmed by the fruit of of the Holy Spirit that you are bearing. In Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 
Matthew chapter 7. Matthew, Orike J. Fast 16. Ese Kerin di Niogun. Matthew 7, 16. Matthew, Orike J. Ese Kerin di Niogun. Jesus says, Yes, we will. Is I know them by their fruits? That is the word of Christ. If I 17, that is Matthew 7 17. Every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, and a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. So, if there is no way you can bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit if it's not in you. Even if, if you fake it, you will soon be tired of faking it. So brethren, so brethren, this fruit is being listed in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 and 23. Maybe I just mentioned there. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, Faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. So when you say to me, "Nay, fe, ayo, alafia, ikpamora, iwakpele, ishore, ikbagbo, iwatutu," kori re ni jano ofinko kolo disiru mone. Are you manifesting all these fruits? Si awo eso wanyi ni onso ni no ayere. If one of them is missing your life. Your salvation is standing on one leg. See, it can in one way someone you bas your nino a year by lock on red roll or yes, a conscious show is a compulsory curriculum for us all Christians. Oh, yeah, and conscious of what Takati don't know from Bobo Christiani. If you lack any of this fruit, you cannot be worthy, qualified, or eligible for heaven. See, oh, Bani, it can in one way so that I will call one ye, oh, Nile, yeah, Lati, why in one. By their fruit, by so on, is a no day. Maybe I should remind you this five, this is fat I've mentioned. It is obtained through a definite encounter with Jesus Christ. It begins with the total surrender. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. It is registered in heaven by confessing Jesus Christ as the Lord and the Son of God. It causes joy in heaven. It is sustained by the power of the Holy Spirit and faith in the Word of God. It is confirmed by the fruit of the Spirit that Christians bear. And lastly, but not the least, salvation of soul is perfected when a Christian finishes his race in Christ. Your salvation will be perfected when you finish your race in Christ. It, it is not that I, I, 
I was a Christian for 50 years. Or for 100 years. That is not what Jesus needs. Are you a Christian, genuine Christian, living Christian, only Christian, sanctified Christian at the point of death or rapture? Any Christian that doesn't finish his race well cannot partake in rapture or resurrection of the saints. Your name is written in the book of life with pencil. It can be weapon of any time. But the day you are able to finish your race in Christ, it will be written with the blood of Jesus Christ. It means that your name can no more be wiped off in the book of life. Brethren, I pray. Amen. Amen. We shall finish our race in Christ in Jesus' name. First Thessalonians. Thessalonica Chapter 4. Verses 16 and 17. First Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. Thessalonica Kene Ori Kerin Ese Kerin Di Logo Ati Keta Di Logo. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise forth. Nintori, olu wati karare, yo sokale la ti oran wa, ti on ti ari wo, kwe lu on, olori ya wangeli, ati kwe lu ikwe oloran, only those that die in Christ before the rapture will resurrect on that day. Not just dead, dead in Christ. That is why he says, only those that endure to the end shall be saved. To the end, Sabi says. I want to go back for it. It is the hope when it comes. Yeah, oh, bala. For seventeen. As I get at the logo. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we be ever with Him. Nigba no ne aogba a watio wa la ye ti o ku le yin soke kwe lu won si no a wo soma la ti kpadi o luwa ni o joron be ne a o si ma wa ti ti lai lò do o luwa see the way it is written e wo bi a ti kon those who remain a wan ti o ku and alive ti o wa la ye those Christians a wan christiani that remain in Christ a wan ti o wa ni no jesu si be and they are lying. They are in their duty post. They are living for Christ. Those Christians that have said bye bye to the world. Those Christians that is not partaking in the works of darkness. Those those Christians that are transparently only in the body, in the soul, and in the body. Those Christians that are doing the will of God to that time. Those Christians that are still carrying their cross in spite of the persecution, affliction, they are forsaken. They are despised. Many women, the husband has thrown them away. Because they are genuine Christians. But they are still carrying their cross. Many husbands, he will have a spark and load and go away. But they remain. They will murder another wife. They will commit adultery. 
They be married to Jesus Christ. Yes, be Christian yawo. They carry their cross. Won duro won gbagbele bu won. They may be weeping. Won le ma ke. They are shedding tears. Won mi je le ma jade lo. They carry their cross. Won shi gbagbele bu won. Tidie. Tidie opin. Those are Christian that are alive. Ah won won yin ni Christian to wa laaye. They are life a cross. Won wa ni aye ni run Christian. They remain a cross. Won duro si be nu Christian. They remain on the narrow way. Won tun duro lojo na toro. They not put one leg on the broad way and one leg on the narrow way. Those are the Christians that are alive. And remain. And remain. These have been cut up through rapture. And these are mean those saints that have died thousands of years ago. They will have total Reunion. Will you be there? So one baby. Rise up. Sing this chorus. Soon very soon. We are going to see the Lord. Soon very soon. We, we are, are going to, to see the, the Lord soon, soon and very soon. We, we are, are going to see the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are going to see the Lord. And I will say, is, I know if there it, is another fellowship in heaven. I know. There is another fellowship in heaven. Do you know there is another fellowship in heaven? I know there is another fellowship in heaven. If you know, sooner or very soon, you are going to see the Lord. Not every Christian we see the Lord. Not every Christian will hear the trumpet of the Lord. Not every Christian will have that reunion and fellowship on that day. If you are very sure that you are determined to remain in this race, to remain in Christ, to solve all enticement to go back to the world, speak to God. Give me feet. Give me the grace and the message that will keep me standing in Christ. That will make me to run my rest in the air. Help me, Lord. That I finish my race well. Give me the grace not to compromise my faith. Others may go back. I will not go back. Others may compromise. I will not compromise. Others may be doing two things. What what today? Christian tomorrow. I can't do it. Others may be hypocrites. But I won't do it. Others may be following the tide of the world. I won't do that. Help me, O Lord. In spite of how tough it is to be a Christian now. Give me the grace to keep on standing. To keep on moving. Until my faith is perfected. Until my salvation is perfected. Until I see you in glory. And I will not be ashamed. Lord, give me faith. Keep me running. Keep me running. The grace and power carry my cross to the end no matter if it may be Lord I receive this morning I do not know that you are coming back for me maybe through death or through rapture what is clear 
One day, I'm living here. One day, I'm living here. I die. I'm raptured. Father, Baba, help me. That, that very day, I won't disappoint you. I won't disappoint you. I won't disappoint you. Father, help me. Help me, O Lord. If I've gone back to the world, if I've gone back to the world, Please tell me now. Is that it in my life? Is that it in my life? That you don't lie. That's causing you weeping and sorrow. Please tell me now. Is that I'm saying? Anything I'm doing. Anything I'm keeping. And you don't lie. Because they address me to her. Tell me now. Tell me now. Is there any weight that I'm carrying? Is there any weight I'm carrying? That is sinking me deep into the storm of the world. Tell me now. Any character in me. Any spirit in me. That doesn't conform to your glory. I will disqualify me on that day. Tell me now. Because I know there will be no second batch of rapture. Anyone that misses is misses forever. I don't want to miss it. Help me, Lord, to be a fit Christian. And on that day, I will meet you in the air. Please pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. Mummy do ro, mummy do ro. Mummy do ro, do me. Jesus, oh Lord, me. Mummy do ro, do me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hey. Our Lord and our Father, we bless your majesty. We honor you because of what you have done concerning our life today. Even concerning the children and the evangelical group, we are all children in your hand. And so we have come before you to testify of your goodness in our life. Father, accept our testimony and our praises and our testimony. Even in Jesus' name. Amen. Based on the word we have heard, O oh Lord, we are praying My that Jesus as we have started in you, O oh Lord, Lord, we are praying that you will continue to sustain us and at the end you will perfect our salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that can make us to fall or falter, we ask, O oh Lord, even in our manner, in our character, in our dealings, you will remove for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We bow before you this morning and we say, Lord, help us through, even with the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we are praying as we've had this word, we are asking, O Lord, the grace to stand indeed to the end and to be firmly rooted in thee. Lord, grant unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the world, Lord, we pray, the spirit and power to be the doer, you will grant unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. The source of the world is committed to your hand. We pray, O oh Lord, all of us together, the speaker and the hearers, all of us will be the doers, so that the blessing that we follow will be our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be unto your name. Hallelujah. And as you go with us, Amen. you uphold us in your love. Amen. And we will continue to follow you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you because you are Thank blessed. Thank you, Jesus. And glory be unto your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Amen.